Lynn and Jeff, thank you so much. We just finished speaking to multiple Dolphins players, including Tyreek Hill and Emmanuel Ogba. Tua Tungavailoa unavailable to media because he still remains in concussion protocol. That is an NFL policy. We also just spoke to Dolphins head coach Mike McDaniel, who assures us that Tua is doing well. He is inside the building today, was in the locker room with his teammates. But we know, at least for this weekend's upcoming game against the Jets, Tua will not be on the field. As of Monday, Tua Tungavailoa remains in concussion protocol after being stretchered off the field Thursday night in Cincinnati. Dolphins head coach Mike McDaniel confirming that x-rays came back negative and Tua's MRI came back clean. However, he does not have an idea of when Tua will be able to return to game action. Uh, right now he's in the building. He's had a couple good days. He's just trying to um, go through with the uh, proper procedure and protocol so that he's um, filling it 100%. Thursday night was the second hard hit to the head in five days for Tunga Vailoa. Sunday, he was illegally shoved to the ground by Bills linebacker Matt Milano. Tua looked dazed after the play and even fell to the ground. However, it was determined that he did not have a head injury and was allowed to return to the game. The NFL Players Association has since fired the independent neurologist that made the call, citing that he, quote, made several mistakes. However, per the NFL concussion protocol, it is the team doctor that has the final say. In this case, an orthopedist, not the neurologist. Everything about the process is to blame. I think everyone has to take responsibility, including Tua. Um, ultimately, he should not have played on Thursday night. The NFL and the NFL Players Association say they will have discussions to amend the current concussion protocol to include, quote, loss of gross motor stability. However, those talks remain ongoing. Buccaneers tight end Cameron Brait suffered a concussion late in the first half in a 41-31 loss to the Chiefs, but continued to play before ultimately being ruled out in the second half. The NFL and the NFLPA are hoping to have these changes approved by the start of this week's games. I mean, the player can, I guess he can BS his way through it. He could say he feels fine, and I don't know enough about the medical elements to to challenge that. Moving forward, it, it's safer for one extra player, um, then, you know, I'm all, I'm all for it. I asked Christian Wilkins and Mike Gesicki if they felt comfortable with the current protocols that are in place. Wilkins is the NFLPA rep for the Dolphins, and they both said yes, they are fine with the current concussion protocol and that player safety is number one. We will keep you posted on Tua, but again, Teddy Bridgewater will start this week against the Jets. Right now, this team trying to come together after the loss of their starting quarterback. Inside the Dolphins training facility, Josh Moser, 7 News.